afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the channel. A beautiful day at the Jersey Shore. In fact, it's the first day that's warm, not windy, and no rain, and the sun has been out all day. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys all about that technical stuff with the lowering springs and how it affects handling and all that good stuff, so stay tuned for that as well. I'm also going to be doing a full video explaining how suspensions work and handling, how to improve the handling on your car. That's for a separate video. I'm going to go ahead and explain all the nerdy, high-tech suspension and handling and technical data stuff like that later on in the video and explain to you guys exactly what's going on. I'm also going to be doing a separate video explaining how you can get better handling out of your car as well. Now, of course, I'm going to be getting an alignment as soon as I'm done with the install. However, the idea is to get the wheels as close to where they are now as possible before getting the alignment. So I highly recommend you check the level on your rotors if you're doing this at your house. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to place this on the rotor and I'm getting 1.7 degrees positive. So, which is about right considering they run negative one degree. It's about a two and a half degree difference when it's on a lift. This is gonna be a relatively easy install. I've done this a bunch of times. Now, I'm not gonna be removing the rotor or the caliper. You're supposed to do that so you don't break the suspension by having all this weight hanging off it, but I'm going to be supporting the rotor from the bottom like I normally do. I don't wanna mess with the calipers or take them off. I'm just gonna be taking these two clips off over here. Then it's the sway bar end link, and then these two bolts right here, which connect the knuckle to the strut housing. And then of course the three on the top and then it comes right out. Here's the adjustable strut mount from Ford Performance. You can see it says passenger at the top, so it's gonna face outwards. This is gonna go towards the fender, and this is gonna be the inside of the car. So there's the factory spring on the right, Ford Performance on the left, and you guys can see the Ford Performance is definitely shorter, of course, and it's very noticeable. The front springs are not side specific, however, the rears are. Now, the good thing is the Ford Performance Springs do not require much compression at all because they're shorter, so I won't have to use the spring compressor anymore. Okay, guys, time to get this strut put back up into the car. Time to get these new spindle nuts in, connecting the strut to the knuckle. So these spindle nuts on the strut need to be torqued down to 184 foot-pounds and my cordless impact wrench on low setting is 150. So I'm gonna hit it with the 150 setting on the impact wrench and then I'm gonna go ahead and torque them to spec 184 foot-pounds. You gotta take off this little bracket over here for the brake line, not just the main clip. There's a bracket down here that I'm removing right now. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's gonna give me more room to get the spring out. That's gonna allow me to move the line around. I'm also gonna remove this as well. Gonna unplug the Magnaride sensor right there. go the spring is now officially out all right guys I'm curious to see what the factory spring weighs 7.8 pounds okay now it's time for the Ford performance spring 12.4 so this is the bottom isolator right here right there against the spring and you can see there's the isolator bump right there on the top This is a proper alignment rack built into the floor so every vehicle can get on properly. I highly suggest going to a place like this or any vehicle that's somewhat low or lowered.
But guys, as you can see, it looks so good. I am very excited. It looks fantastic. Definitely worth it. I am so happy I did this. Definitely worth it. Handles better, looks better, quality part. Everything went as expected. Very easy install. I just think it looks really phenomenal. Like you can see it right behind me, just looking so sick and aggressive. But Optimus Lime looks so much better now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the merchandise below this video. It supports the channel. And of course, the join button as well. Exclusive perks for being a member and it supports the channel greatly to keep the content coming for you guys. But that's gonna do it, guys. Be safe out there. Take care. Have a great day. And I will see all of you on the next upload. Take care, guys. Thank you.